Hey guys, welcome back. I'm still on question te question 11 of the CXE CSEC Mad January 2012 paper 2 and I'm moving on to part C. In part C we're given a matrix Q such that Q is um, this 2x2 two two matrix containing the elements 4, 2, 1, 1 and we want to find the, um, the inverse of Q. Okay, so in general, if we're given a matrix Q equal A, B, C, D and the determinant of Q is not equal to 0 then the inverse of that matrix is equal to 1 all over the determinant of the matrix times D minus B minus negative C A Right, so that is we we switch the the entries A and D and we take the negative of the entries B and C. And the determinant of Q is equal to A times D minus B times C. Well, in this case our Q has we know the values for A, B and C, so we plug those values into here and into here and then we'll be able to calculate the inverse. So that's what I did here. Um, I plugged um, A was 4, so 4 goes here. This is the A, this is the D, this is minus B, this is negative B, negative C. And determinant of Q is A times D, which is what? Which is 4 times 1, 4 and b times c which is 2 times 1, 2 so that's 4 minus 2 so that's why I got the 4 minus 2 here and that breaks down to 2 and this expression here is the inverse of q okay for the second part we want to use um, we, we have this equation here which has matrices in it and we want to find the values of x and y so what we'll notice immediately is that this here can be written as um, qx equal b where q is this matrix here 4, 2, 1, 1 right? and notice it's the same matrix that we had before uh, x is the column vector xy and b is the column vector containing 8 and 3 now just as in normal algebra when even though q are, qx Q is a matrix and X and B are column vectors, we can we can still use the the same rules. So if we want X on a, on a, on the left hand side by itself, we can divide throughout by Q. So divide on both sides by Q. Right, the Qs will cancel here. And you'll be left with X equal B over Q. But B over Q is the same as um, Q inverse times B. Now before I continue, the only reason we can divide through by Q here is because we know that Q has an inverse. right? We know that Q has an inverse because we calculated the inverse of Q across here. So that's the only reason we can divide by Q or multiply by Q inverse on both sides. Alright, so once we have X equal Q inverse times B, well you already calculated what Q inverse is, it's this. So we plug that value in here and we know what B is. B is 8, the column vector 8, 3. So it's just left to, um, to calculate this. So we need to multiply this matrix by this column vector. Let's see if they are compatible for multiplication. Well, this is a two by this is a two by two matrix, and this is a two by one column matrix or column vector. And so since the number of columns in the second first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, they are compatible for multiplication. And since the number of rows in the first matrix is 2 and the number of columns in the second matrix is 1, it means we'd get a 2 by 1 vector or matrix or column vector. So multiplying, we get 1 by 8 is 8 times negative 2 by 3 is negative 6. So 8 minus 6 is 2. And then we have negative 1 by 8 is negative 8 and 4 trees are 12. So we have negative 8 plus 12 or 12 minus 8 which is 4. 
and then half of these things, half of two is one and half of four is two, and so we got we get this. But this is what x is equal to, and x is the vector is the column vector x, y. And so x corresponds to 1 and y corresponds to 2 and therefore x is 1 and y is 2. Um, what we can do to, to check that this is indeed the right answer is to multiply this matrix by the solution we get and see if we get 8, 3. If we do then this is indeed the correct answer. I did this already and I got it to work out. So you can plug in those values and check for yourself that this is indeed the correct answer.